I thought this would be good to hold my hair out of my face, like the little hair that I have to do my makeup today, but it's just, it's honestly just too damn tight. Uh-uh, this is not gonna work. Let's find something else. There we go, that's a lot better. All right, hello there. My name is Kitty Minko. Oh, Christmas is this Monday, so I thought that it might be kind of fun to do like a little Christmas makeup tutorial. So the first thing I like to do, I like to use the Smashbox Photo Finish Spray Primer. While that's still wet, I like to go in with the Wet n Wild face primer and just dot it around my face. And then just rub it in, not too rough because mama don't want wrinkles. And then while that's drying, I'll also do my eyeshadow primer. Just gently move that around and pat it. So once I have all of my face primed and ready, I like to go in with just like some kind of face spray. And now I'm going to go in with a mix of the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation. This is the lightest one because I am super, super pale. And just dot that around. Shut up. I'm doing something. <laughs> I like mixing it with this. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Total Cover Foundation. It's like intense full coverage, so I don't like to do it just alone. But lend your life away. So we'll go in next with the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. I like to bake with a Cody Airspun Translucent. The reason why I wear like a lazy t-shirt when I glam is because of this product. It's a great product, don't get me wrong, but it's so messy. And while my eyes are baking, I like to go in with my eyeshadow. I'm actually going to use my contour palette. This is the Anastasia Contour Kit. First, I'm gonna take this big fluffy brush and take this shade here and put it in my crease. And then I take this clean brush. It looks red, but it's just stained from a really bad red eyeshadow. And then I'm gonna take this yellow shade and highlight my brow bone with it. And then kind of bring it down into the crease there to give it a good fade. These are the Kakian Cosmetics eyeshadows. I haven't tried them yet, but I really am intrigued by this like burgundy he made. So I'm gonna use my finger and just apply that all over the lid. Ooh. And then I'm just gonna take that big fluffy brush I had earlier and kind of blend it into the crease a little bit. It's okay. To be honest, not my favorite, but it'll work. And it did kind of produce like a weird fallout right here that I'm kind of having trouble getting off, which is a little annoying. It's not really blending out good either. Like I'm trying to get it to kind of like fade into my crease a little bit to kind of bring it all together, but it's 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 not not moving. And now I'm just gonna take a big fluffy brush and knock off my bake. And then I kind of like to go over my face just lightly with the Fenty Beauty blotting powder. We are ready to contour. We're using this angled bronzer brush with this shade right here in the middle. What I like to do is apply it straight and then kind of turn it on its side and diffuse it upwards. And for my nose contour, I actually use like a big fluffy eyeshadow brush like I used before and just mimic shadows on my nose. And then once that's all on, I use the big fluffy brush to kind of just. All right, so now I have the Naked Flushed palette. I haven't used this yet. It was on like one of the weekly WOW sales, so I wanted to try it. And I'm gonna take this blush here. Very powdery, a lot of kickback. And then just pop that on. Oh, it's pretty. Hmm, I like it. Then I'm gonna take that bronzer shade right there and put that on my forehead and like a little bit on my contour area. Ooh, okay. I like it. It's pretty. Doesn't really layer well with that blush, to be honest. Looks a little bit gray. Now I know not to do that next time. Now we are ready for the best part, the highlight. This I haven't tried yet. I got it because it was $5 and it's marble print and anyone who knows me knows that I am such a marble print stan. It's just like this like cute little strobe palette. I swatched it and the swatch does look really good. I'm gonna start with a big fluffy fan brush in this like pink one. It's there. I'm gonna take this little one and just wet it with some Fix Plus. I think I'm actually gonna go on top of that with this yellowy one while it's wet. Just 
just see. There we go. Yeah, that's gorgeous. I'm gonna blend it out, don't worry. <laughs> and then just take the fluffy and shush it around. I didn't like the Fix Plus. It like, what? It like only latched onto the areas that I put it on. Now it's not blending. Ah! All right, we're gonna go in with our finger and try to make this better. Okay, so this is working, thank God. Okay, so don't use Fix Plus with that. <laughs> it doesn't look that great now. And then I'm gonna take my Fix Plus in. I found this brush on sale at Torrid. It's LA Colors Browy Wowy Brow Pencil. I actually really love this brow pencil. I've tried it a few times and it's kind of my new favorite thing and it was like, I think a dollar. And on the back of this pencil, it has a little spoolie and I use that to blend it. Okay, brows are done. That means it's time for lashes. How fabulous is this mascara tube? And while this is drying, I'm gonna apply a lipstick. Today I'm using Sad Girl by Anastasia with the Quart K by Kylie Cosmetics Lip Liner. Okay, now we're doing lashes, you ready? One, two, three, ta-da! Thank you guys so much for watching. I know it's annoying, but please like and subscribe. If you hate it, send it to your friends. You guys can all make fun of me as long as you guys give me views. That's completely fine by me. But anyway, thank you. I love you. Mwah. And Merry Christmas.